Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. To assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistant. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Hello, friends! Sentinel H here, and welcome! to Subnautica. Yes, I have been waiting and hoping for this day for a long time. I was, f you could not imagine my excitement <laughs> when I saw this email in my inbox giving me a code for Subnautica. I have wanted to play this game, I don't think that's supposed to happen, for a long, long time. But I got a code, and and we're in the game. We're playing Subnautica. Um, all right, advice issued as necessary. Yes. Ugh, this game it's just so beautiful. Now, uh, don't forget this is an alpha. Uh, the the water actually looks a little uh, pixelated for me at the moment, uh, but who cares? So this is an alpha game, even though it, it lo looks awesome. So uh, so don't forget, it's definitely still under heavy development. <laughs> Um, that apparently that intro sequence was a fairly new addition um, to the game. Anyway, what, what do I? I got a first aid kit and a fire extinguisher. I need to like get some food or something, and then uh, and make some stuff, I guess. Like we use this to craft resources, like materials and stuff, and cooks our food and disinfects water and things. We need to get ourselves a welder apparently because we need to fix the crap in this uh, life pod. Ah, uh, look at this. Look at this. It's the, it's the only like underwater game that I was really even interested in. Like uh, there was this other game, um, what was it called? Far Sky or something? That was like also a uh, underwater game, which looked interesting, um, but it definitely didn't have the polish that this game just already has. Like the graphics are already impressive in my opinion. Get over here. Get over here, fish. New creature discovered. Gotcha. That's a uh, air sack. Now I have watched people play this game. I've watched quite a few people play this game. Most notably Marco. Well, actually, I I've mainly watched Markiplier and Sips uh, play this game. They have very different uh, styles, uh, is probably the nicest way to put it. <laughs> Markiplier tends to be pretty crazy, and uh, Sips tends to be pretty reserved. Although I really like uh, both of them. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core oh, due yeah. to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. Yeah, bad stuff. Sustenance. Um. So we can get water from 
this air sack. We could also cook the air sack. Or apparently, if we have salt, we can cure it. Um, air sacks are mostly used for water, so we'll do that. Sweet. Oh, now we got some resources, so um, let's like refine that. We got some of this like uh, scrap metal. We can refine it into titanium. I love it. Titanium ingots, which isn't used yet. I don't need to make that. This welder requires crash powder and magnesium. Good. I don't even know. I know what crash powder is. Uh, there's this. Oh, what the heck was that? That was weird. Oh, we got a storage container. Flares. Oh, some water. Uh, nutrient blocks. Fantastic. I want some nutrient blocks. Yeah. Gotta love nutrient blocks, right? Sweet. So everything in this thing is broken. Like the communications relay doesn't work, the life support systems are damaged. So we need to fix it. I see errors. We're gonna fix it. Alright. Oh man, I just love this. It's so cool. Come here. Haha. <laughs> gotcha. Oh. No. You come here. Alright, now we can go and cook these guys and get us some food. I got some quartz. Uh, here's some more. Uh, here's some more stuff. And uh, oh, that's a sea glide fragment, right? That's a a fragment. I need to get like a scanner, and then I can scan it. Do I really need this like, fire extinguisher? I don't. I don't think so. Let's just put that in here. All right. I like that the fabricator just does everything. I mean, wouldn't this fabricator realistically have been damaged somewhat in the... I'm gonna cook some boomerang. Apparently it's good eating. Oh, good eating around the cartilaginous fins. <laughs> I got. I like that. I like the... Uh... Let's see what's in equipment. Oh yeah, we need to make an O2 tank. Titanium and glass. Oh wait, can I make glass? Where is it? Glass. Two quartz. Well, we have one. We just need one more. Cooked boomerang. Oh, yeah. Let's eat that stuff. And, uh, drink some water, too. Sweet. We need to find another piece of quartz. Oop, air sack. Get over here. Ah, gotcha. Ah, here's some quartz right here. Yeah, sweet. Ooh. One of those dudes. Haha! <laughs> gotcha. Acid mushrooms. Now I know you don't want to like poke these things. So I got this guy and an air sack, and it's cool. We'll get some more resources. But I can make glass now. Man. Even though this game is an alpha, it looks beautiful. That's what I like to see. I love to see that. I like it when it's really cool when a game that's cooked peeper. Protein rich eyeballs. Small bones add texture. Ugh. It doesn't sound very appealing. Cook small organisms are removing the skeletal structure, body fluids, and internal organs. So it really does a lot of work on these things. <laughs> they still have the same shape that they don't really do. Okay, we're full up now. Let us go ahead and craft some stuff. Let's craft that scrap into some more titanium. And we can craft ourselves some glass. And that means we can craft an O2 tank. Why do I want pipes? Pump air from the surface. Oh, cool. O2 tanks. I got the aqua lung achievement because now we can hold our breath longer. Well, we're not holding our breath. We can, we, we're carrying oxygen so it takes up room in your inventory but uh, lets you stay underwater longer which you definitely need so uh, there, there's that all right what else we got that I'd be interested in I, I, I want some fins fins are cool but how do we get silicone rubber 
I need this radiation suit before the aurora goes crazy. Um, a thermometer. A temperature sensor. Cool. Fin, silicone rubber. But how do we get silicone rubber? Is it under basic materials? Yes, it is. Creep vine seed clusters. All right. See, I know what some of this stuff is. I know what a lot of this is. Ooh, it's dark. The darkness is creep scary. This game, like, it really takes on a completely different atmosphere at night. It helped out by the ambient sounds. Wait, is that the sound of my person breathing? Oh, man. Just listen to the audio in this game. It's fantastic. It really gives you that, uh under the sea vibe. Now I shouldn't really be staying underwater so long not doing anything because I am on a time limit. So this is pod 5. Life pod 5. And uh... Ooh, that music. It's like... Catchy. Make some more glass out of our quartz. Do we need quartz for other things? We need some. Oh, enamel glass is expensive, yeah. I mean, you know, it's not expensive to use. Benzene. Blood oil? <laughs> oh, we can make a battery. Copper and acid. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may cause a quantum detonation. Ooh, that's not bad. risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11% by exposure to radioactive crash site materials 19% oh. if the drive core is breached probability of oh. death increases to 65% Ooh, I need a scanner to scan things so we need to grab make a battery and thankfully that's under electronics and I can make one yeah the drive core breach is bad news why does my screen keep wiggling around it's kind of weird all right, we got the scanner. That's very important because it lets us well, let's just scan things. <laughs> That's what it does. Ooh, look at these little school of glowy fish. All right, where was that little um, sea glide fragment that we saw earlier? Can't really. These things are cool looking. They're all. Oh man, I love how they like disperse when you get near them. What, can we scan an acid mushroom? Oh yeah, we scan things to add it to the encyclopedia. Oh, red table coral. Nope, we can't scan red table coral. Huh. Get some more quartz. I could have scanned that quartz. What is blue palm? I guess if the cursor starts having a little spinny thing on it, it means you can scan it. Cool de cool. I'm scanning the peeper. Gotta keep up with it though. Nope, didn't do it. That is a big like cave entrance. It's cool, but I don't wanna go down there at night. It's too creepy. Become daytime game. Nighttime is too creepy. Oh, is this that fragment? Oh, this is a different fragment. This is a solar panel fragment. Yeah, nighttime is, uh... Oh, okay. That's what that is. Those things are fine. Those things aren't, uh... They're not aggressive. They're not dangerous. Oh, running out of oxygen. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. That's okay. I have replenished my oxygen stores. I definitely need fins. Like I need to move faster. I want to move faster. I need to get. I want to get a sea glide. Sea glide would be cool. Let's scan the salvage before we pick it up. Because we can. Uh, now it's getting brighter again. Okay, where was that sea glide fragment? And it was around here somewhere. Hey, look, there's some more scrap metal. Oh, hello. These guys are kind of like. These guys have creepy eyes, but they remind me of manatees. They're like weird alien manatees, basically. 
They don't they don't do anything. They just float around making noise. I mean, it's sort of a relaxing game, except for the fact that you're constantly on a, a timer because if you stay underwater too long, you just die. Um, dang it, man. I can't find that sea glide fragment. I think it was closer to the... There it is. There's the sea glide fragment. Yeah, scan that. Give me that. So does it make sense that you would not be able to make those things? Like, did the data core or the fabricator get damaged with that tow? Uh, the systems got damaged, you know. You saw, you saw in the intro and the fact that it's sparking that the systems were damaged. Is that, like, their excuse? Is that, like, the, the reason? Alright, let's go in this cave now that it's not totally pitch black. Oh, there's nothing in here. Scan the limestone chunk, yep. Oh, my inventory's full. Right. It's got here. Need to go back to the thingy and drop the stuff off. The thingy. It's the life pod. What am I talking about? I want to be able to move faster, though. So I think getting some flippers is going to be uh, smart. All oh, right. It's all this uh, scrap metal, really. It's taking up all my inventory space. Oh, we're running out of power. We got a lot of titanium off of that. All right. Let's check out uh, the blueprints here. We got. Caution, blah, blah, voice logs, photo album. <laughs> Blueprints. Solar panels? A grav sphere. That's cool. Waterproof locker, a laser cutter, a welder, aquarium. Coolity cool. Solar panel, 50%. We need another solar panel thingy. Yeah. If I want to make a solar panel. Uh, huh, all right. Let's just, I like how there's like, uh, you can always tell where that life pod is. Like, it's always marked in your map, so you don't gotta worry about that. Oh, wait a second. I didn't actually drop off any of my stuff. I totally spaced. Totally forgot. I'm just so intelligent. All right. Let's actually drop the stuff off. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, um, we kind of can't. <laughs> we filled it up uh, with stuff. Um, yes. So, about that. <laughs> I guess we need to actually craft some of this titanium into, like, um, into, like, the ingots. Warning. Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics ah, consistent great. with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. Can the I quantum put one of these? Will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Ah, Advise great. observing a one kilometer safety range. Okay, I crafted a locker. Can I actually put that in here? Where actually did it go? Crafted a waterproof locker. Like, where did it. It maintains position in the water. Is it in my inventory and I'm just not seeing it? No, it's not there. So, where the heck is this locker that I just crafted? Like, where'd it go? It's a deployable. Let's craft another one. Oh, wait. Oh, it went in my hotbar, didn't it? Oh, no, now I have one. I didn't have it before. 
All right. So this thing is a giant black box. Wait. Oh, it's a floaty thing. It's supposed to like, is it supposed to float or is it just supposed to sit where I put it? The inventory can't be full. I just built it. Let's store all of our quartz in here. That's kind of neat. Let's not go towards the Aurora, so... Yeah, let's go this way. Now, I know some things about this game. Like, I know what the various biomes are called. I know some of the tips. I know how to get some of the resources that I need to get. Like, um... Crash powder, for example, is one of them. It's kind of tough to get because there's like these explodey things on the wall. Whoa, what are these? They're creepy. Can I... Ah, it's looking at me. I can't pick it up or anything. Ah, he just looks at me. Okay, there's nothing in here but these creepy things. Let's go. These things are creepy. Get out of here. Those are some creepy fish, man. Let's get some air. Ah, oh, yeah, air. Air! Ooh! Pink vine. We need some of that. Oh, there's that thing that gives me crash powder. It'll, like, shoot. Ah, yeah, gotta go. Gotta fly. Gotta run away. Ow! Oh, caught me. And now you can take the crash powder from inside. Yeah, I guess I can't move fast enough yet. That's okay. Oh, those are the things that like make the rocks float, aren't they? All right, let's just get some air. We'll be fine on our health. Thankfully, our scuba mask seems to be self-healing, and they are, you know, creating self-healing. Oh wait, I can't get actual. Vine, can I? I don't have a knife, so I can't like cut it. I need to make a knife. I need to make a knife. There's some seed pods over there, though. I'll need those. All right, let's go back to the surface. Let us swim. You know, can I actually sprint in this game? Like, if I held shift. I would like it if he put his thing away and started swimming with both arms and got a little faster. That'd be pretty cool. Alright. Let us see about a knife. Survival knife. Silicone rubber. Alright. I need I need silicone rubber. And I know that's a, a basic resource that requires... Okay, seed clusters. Okay. I can get those. I can get those seed clusters. Because I saw one earlier. Oh, yeah. The... The waterproof locker is. Seismic readings suggest a quantum detonation oh, has occurred no. in the Aurora's drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state in T minus ten. Oh well. Nine, eight. Good way seven, to end the video. Six, five, four, three, two. I'm sure they'll like beef that up and make it even cooler. But for now, that still looks pretty awesome. That didn't used to happen until after you'd gotten the rad suit, but it does it like really soon now. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed me playing Subnautica. I didn't get very far because uh, I'm a, I'm a noob and I don't know what I'm doing, and I still have this waterproof locker. But, um, yeah, <laughs> stay tuned for future episodes. I am totally stoked to be playing this game. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I'm Sentinel H, and I'm signing out.